Hey, it's Cole here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to go over three players who I think will have breakout seasons in 2023. And if you like these videos, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe. It helps out my channel greatly because I talk about NFL all the time on this channel. As we get closer to the NFL season, there will be more videos coming out. So let's go ahead and talk about the first player who I think will have a breakout season this year. The first guy will be Chase Young from the Washington Commanders. Now, I'm a Commanders fan, so there might be a little bias in here, but I genuinely believe he will have a great season in a breakout season this year. Obviously, the big thing that's hindering that, you know, is a fully healthy season. How well is he going to come back from this ACL injury, which obviously is very hard to come back from in any sport. You know, it, it definitely can derail careers, so you know, and it does all the time. But I think Chase Young will be fine. He took a nice year off to get healthy, to get right. And I think it's for the better that, you know, we were kind of wondering, is this the week he comes back? Is it the, you know, and then it's pushed back to the next week, to the next week. And we we're kind of like, okay, when is he coming back? And then he eventually came back later in the season, I believe, versus the 49ers. I might be wrong on that one. But he came back a little later that year and um, trying to, you know, in general, just get back in the field, bring back his confidence and make sure that he's okay and fine and he's not scared of playing on the hurt leg, you know? Because obviously that's probably something that goes to the mind of a player because, like, what if I re-injure this? So I feel like just getting him back in the motion of playing a football game was very huge. And now since he's had the whole off season, he's had a few games from the last season, and I think he'll be ready to go. You know, let's go in, uh, let's go back and talk about the last time he had a fully healthy season. Uh, obviously, that was his rookie year. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year. He had 7.5 sacks. He had 10 tackles for loss, and he had four forced fumbles. That sounds like a nice, a nice season. And I think there's a chance he could get even more than that, more sacks. He could be due for a 10 sack season, and and I genuinely believe that. There's tape when uh, at the end of last year he was playing Trent Williams. He had a heck of a game, or he had a heck of a plays versus Trent Williams to show that he can be this dominant edge rusher that was drafted number two overall for you know for a reason. And I think he'll show that this year. And I mean, he's he's also on a contract year. So obviously, contract years you usually see some of the best years out of career out of players. And I think this is definitely going to be one for Chase Young. And another reason why I think he'll have this fully this breakout season is because he's playing on a good defense, a good defensive line. Montez Sweat, Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, and so I think these guys will really help him get back. And you know, you can't just you know Chase Young isn't the only guy you got to be scared of. Got to be scared of Montez Sweat. Got to be scared of Jonathan Allen, Deron Payne, and also the depth on this team. I like Casey Tuhill to come in as a rotational edge. They just drafted KJ Henry, who I believe is a nice pickup there in a rotational edge rusher. So if they need a breather, you know, obviously they're maybe not limited snaps necessarily, but there's definitely going to be times where Chase Young is probably taking out just a little bit more to start the season. So I, I think that's going to help him as well. You know, you get the depth guys, you can take him out just for a little bit, and then he can go back on the field, fully rested up, and he can go ahead and wreck some damage. And so that's why I believe Chase Young will be a break, will have a breakout season this next year. And so let's go ahead and talk about the second guy I think will have a breakout season, and that is going to be Justin Fields. I, I th I'm i a big Justin Fields fan. I, I think I'm higher on him than lots of others. But I genuinely believe that Justin Fields will have a breakout year and show why he is the franchise quarterback of the Chicago Bears. You know, let's go back to last year, his first full season. He had 2,242 passing yards. He had 17 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. And for a full year, I don't, and you know, in his, in theory, this is his rookie year because it is his first full year. I don't think that's bad. I really don't, and he showed improvement from like how the handful of games he did play in his rookie year. And then you go to obviously his rushing ability. He had a thousand uh, one hundred forty-three rushing yards, and he had eight rushing touchdowns. And some of those touchdowns were absolutely spectacular. And I, I think he can replicate that. I think he can get a thousand rushing yards. I think he can go for over three thousand passing yards and keep those interceptions low and put, bring those touchdowns higher. I think he'll have a great season stat-wise, and, and some reasons for that is just a upgraded offense. You look at DJ Moore. Now you got Darnell Mooney, DJ Moore, Chase Claypool. Um, I'm probably forgetting somebody. But you got the three there. You know, Khalil Herbert's going to be a nice passing offense. You know, uh, running back Cole Komet. 
I, I think they still have Nikhil Harry. I like the Tyler Scott pick. I think that's going to be really good for the receiving. And then you go to the offensive line. They bring in Nate Davis in free agency. They draft Darnell Wright with the 10th overall pick. He's going to have time. He's going to have weapons to throw to. And I think that's going to be a big part of why he does progress and have this breakout season. And, and then also, he's a better defense. Though, the defense, obviously, he's not playing with the defense. But if the defense can keep the score low, you know, not have Justin Fields in this, got to throw it down the field every single time, and make sure we can get back into this game and not playing behind from all, the whole time, they're going to be able to run their offense. They got Roshan Johnson, who I think will be a nice back that's going to run here and there and kind of keep tempo and a good pace of this offense. And, you know, obviously they signed TJ Edwards, Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, I like They went all defensive players in day two this past year. And you're going to have Kyler Gordon and Jaquan Brisker on their second year. And obviously you still have Jalen Johnson. So I really like how the defense is set up. And I really think that that will um, impact Justin Fields in a positive way. So that's why I believe Justin Fields will have a breakout season this year. And I'm banking on, man. I'm really confident in Justin Fields to get better in his passing. Don't get me wrong. Last year, definitely there was some questionable moments where he just sometimes didn't have the confidence to throw the ball to an open receiver because he was slightly covered. And obviously, I think in general, accuracy can get up and can get better. And I think it will get better. And so that's why, again, I believe Justin Fields will have a breakout season in 2023. So let's go ahead and head to my third guy who I think will have a breakout season. That third guy is Drake Jackson from the 49ers, edge rusher, going into his second year. Now, you know, you probably heard of Chase Young, obviously. You, I mean, you obviously heard of Chase Young and Justin Fields. You may have not have heard of Drake Jackson if you are not a 49ers fan. He's an edge rusher who I think will have a big role. In, in, in that defensive line. And so let's go look back at his last year. He had three sacks, three tackles for loss. He didn't play as much, but I think that was really for the better. To learn behind some of these guys like Nick Bosa and, and this defensive coaching staff. And, and I mean, one of the reasons why I think he'll have this upgrade or, or this breakout season is because of that defensive line. You know, the 40, you know, the other offensive linemen are going to look at Nick Bosa. They're going to look at Javon Hargraves before they look at Drake Jackson. And he's going to he's gonna definitely, at, for lots of times, he's going to be on one-on-one -on -one situations with the offensive tackle. And I think he's good enough to where he can win lots of those one-on-ones versus the offensive tackles. And, and I think he's talented enough. He's very athletic. He's definitely athletic enough to win lots of times and get past those offensive tackles. And, you know, you look at the, the NFC West who, again, also have gotten better in their offensive line, except the, you know, the Rams. Even though the Steve Vila pick was fine, but you look at Paris Johnson Jr. now in Arizona. You look at um, um, Charles Cross, who they drafted last year, the Seahawks did. And so I think they're getting better, but I still think that you can take advantage of those offensive lines in the NFC West. Again, you can always mismatch however you want your defensive line to go ahead, even though Jake Jackson probably will be playing the better offensive tackles because you want to make sure that Nick Bosa gets on the easier competition so he can absolutely dominate. But I think Drake Jackson will just be fine and, and kind of looking at it. In general, again, good defense line, good defense. And Fred Warner, these linebackers, the secondary, very good. That's really going to help out Drake Jackson a lot because, again, he's not going to be the main focus of this defense. Fred Warner, uh, Telefung, I probably said his name wrong. Obviously, Nick Bosa, Javon Hargraves, um, and some of these other secondary guys who are going to be the bigger focus than Drake Jackson. And I think that's really going to help him out. And also, this 49ers coaching staff is really good. They they know how to develop defensive linemen. They really helped out Charles Amenehu last year, who is now with the Kansas City Chiefs. And he got a good bag. He got a good bag of money. And so I think Drake Jackson will come into this defensive line, into this defense, into this starting rotation and he will dominate and have a breakout season. So these are three guys that I think will have breakout seasons here in 2023. Who do you guys think will have breakout seasons this year? Go ahead and comment down that below. Leave a like and subscribe and hit this video that's on the screen now and watch some more videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.